My name is Rob Brown. I serve as the Director of Social Justice Education at Northwestern University. And I'm here to share a little bit more about the Social Identity Grid, how you can use it, and um, what are some of the intended outcomes or questions that might um, come up for you as you um, move throughout the process. So the start of this uh, tool prompts us to think about this notion of social identity. And so when we think about social identities, particularly as compared to personal identities, um, we're thinking about identities that um, we hold, that hold weight in, broader, in our broader society. So things that I might experience um, in my home community might reverberate, and I might also experience and navigate them at work. And then when I travel maybe halfway across the country, I might experience some similar patterns of behavior, treatment, experience. Um, so there's a little of consistency across uh, geographic or regional um, or institutional context. Um, and um, they tend to reinforce one another. The other kind of nuance about social identity that I think is helpful to, to know or to think about um, is why they even matter, right? So often um, many of our social identities form and ground um, our core beliefs, our values, what we see as normal, um, and that tends to be um, different and nuanced for each of us. And so. Uh, taking some time to think about kind of who are you in the world, um, what do you experience, what has informed um, the lens in which um, you view the world, and how might that be similar or different um, to other individuals that you're working with or in community with uh, helps to spark greater conversations about um, inclusion and equity uh, and how um, those issues play out in our broader society or in um, the world of higher education. So uh, there's a couple other additional terms I think are helpful to know. So you'll see at the bottom of that kind of initial page uh, two terms, so target group and agent group. Most of us um, hold um, mul a multitude of identities. Right? We're sometimes taught that we only are one or two identities, um, but in actuality, we are holding all of these identities, whether we're conscious of them or not, at the exact same time. Those identities tend to fall um, into one or two buckets. So they tend to either be targeted and maybe be a targeted group um, that experience patterns of marginalization, fewer access to resource resources uh, and tend to not be seen as like normal um, within society um, or agent group identities which tend to be normalized tend to shape dominant beliefs um, viewpoints ways of being tend to have greater access to, to resources and power and so most of us uh, tend to have a mix of both right some of us will have mostly agent group identities some of us will also have mostly target group identities and there are a few nuanced identities uh, that are somewhat difficult to tease out and maybe experience a bit of agency and a bit of, of, of target um, group uh, experience. And then I think that's where the opportunity to fill out the grid comes in. So um, as you move through the grid, uh, the initial column um, prompts you to write in and actually name what identities you hold. So it gives you an opportunity to think about what is your relationship to race, right? So do you identify as white or black or Asian American or Latinx? Um, gives you an opportunity to think about your ability. So do you identify as a person with a disability? Maybe those disabilities might be physical or cognitive or learning based, or are you an able-bodied person, able-minded person? Um, so it's an opportunity for you to actually take stock of what identities you hold. Some of those identities you might think a lot about, and some of those identities, this might be the very first time that you're thinking about them. And then as you move throughout the grid, there's a few additional question prompts that um, create opportunities for you to think about the notion of salience. So salience is articulating how much, how often are you thinking about, paying attention to, conscious of um, a particular identity and its impact on your lived experience. Sometimes that's by choice, um, so you have a cultural maybe affinity to that identity and you actually want to be thinking about it. And sometimes that's by obligation or by intentional intentionality, right? So you have a commitment or a responsibility to pay attention to a certain identity as you think about its impact on others around you or your broader community. 
And so uh, this, the tool um, will kind of guide you through a series of, of questions um, that are similar to that, um, where you get to think about first memories, um, saliency, uh, treatment, and um, then there's an opportunity for further reflection and community building. So I really encourage you um, to spend some time thinking about kind of what reflections come up for you as you fill out the grid and what you would like to invite into further conversation with others.